her to show the atomic structure of an element and to make it recognisable with the materials that are available around you. And so for us, it's in the maker space and you'll choose one particular uh, element. And when you've chosen the element, make sure you write its symbol on the board uh, so no elements are duplicated by uh, other students. So you're going to decide how you will present the atomic structure of one isotope of that element, uh, which will have a specific number of neutrons. The number of protons and electrons will be identical in a neutral atom of your element. You're going to use readily available equipment and uh, as with uh, uh, all experiments and where you're uh, making things, uh, use all equipment safely. Care with sharp objects, uh, make sure you put them down carefully so they're not going to cause harm. Uh, care with hot objects like glue guns and care with any corrosive materials like super glue, etc. Cover your work surface with card or material to protect it from some of these items. Uh, so you're going to use atomic numbers on the periodic table um, to look at the numbers of protons and electrons in your chosen element. And the number of neutrons has to be a whole number. And to get that, you'll subtract the atomic number from the atomic mass and round up or down to get that whole number. And look at the formula there, the atomic mass, which equals the number of protons plus neutrons minus the atomic number, which equals the number of protons, gives you the number of neutrons. Here are a few examples of uh, element uh, information that you can get from a periodic table. So you can choose uh, your particular element and uh, look at the materials that are available to help you with that. And for some reason, uh, we had a German flag ready for this particular sample. And here are some other ideas. And looking at these um, buttons tend to figure big, but uh, they actually have pencil sharpeners and uh, um, uh, jewels and uh, pipe cleaners and other materials. And so uh, if you could choose your own materials to make a second atomic structure model uh, of the same element, uh, what would your model look like? Um, make a drawing of it. And uh, what materials would you use? And make sure you do so safely. And as a reflection, uh, we're looking at the experience uh, following the activity uh, designing uh, the uh, atomic structure and presenting it in a different way, uh, whether you've done it in two dimensions or even three dimensions. So see, construct, and wonder. So what do you wonder once you have constructed your, your molecular model? of a single element here rather. So with many thanks to Ms. Foster's ninth and 10th grade chemists.